what's happening YouTube finally getting to uh, get this little jig tying video together for you guys hopefully this will uh, help explain the process of, of the way I tie my jigs uh, there are several different ways of doing it man I've watched several several videos of people that tie jigs and there, there's just as long as the end result is a very tightly tied, locked in jig, your way could be the right way. But this is how I do a uh, jig. What we're going to do is tie a short head, black body, pink tail with flash. And uh, here we go, y'all. Let's go ahead and get the, get into it. And uh, hopefully, I'm not I'm not moving too fast for you. Hopefully, you'll. Uh, You'll, you'll learn something from this that you guys that want to learn to tie. Uh, but this is the way SK does it. Here we go. Alright guys, I'm going to try to keep this uh, short and sweet and uh, informational. Uh, hopefully everything will show up. You're looking, I'm looking behind the camera so you're seeing everything that I can see. Uh, got my bobbin, black thread. I'm going to go with the uh, green short trues head, black body, and pink tail. This is a 1 8 number 2 hook, sickle hook. Uh, what you want to do is uh, have your tag end out about like so. Uh, it's probably 4 or 5 inches maybe. And what I like to do is start wrapping towards the head first and then while I'm holding the tag end up I want to make a solid body a solid bed, a solid thread bed, all the way down, and I like to go to the point of, of the hook. Some people go to the first bend. I try to go between the point and the barb. And if you notice that head is shaking pretty good, you want to wrap this bed very tight. This is the foundation you want it very tight okay now we're going to cut off this little tag in and we're going to go with the pink tail so what we want to do what I usually do on a 1 8 head is go two V's two V's and then a tip and you want to line line up your spines this is going to be sort of difficult because the cameras are right in my face line up your spines best you can possibly do because that that's what keeps your feathers in line and then I'll take one more V and lay across the top of the tip makes a very nice filled out tail works great and you wanna you wanna make that to where it, it, it looks good before you even lay it on the hook so I'll, I'll uh, make that look good and then you lay it on top of your hook and wrap it just wrap it loosely just put it on kind of loose. I mean, you want a little tension, but not real tight. Make sure you situate your tail to where it's just lined up with the formation of the hook. And once you do that, go ahead and we're going to cinch this, uh, this uh, hackle down. And, and you want, like I say, you don't want anything loose on this, on this jig. All this stuff is going to be tight. So you wrap that off in there real good and tight. Let's go ahead and put a little piece of flash in there. Grab us a little piece of flash. And what I do with this flash is I'll just fold it over. Fold it over like that. Put it over the top of the hook and that's just a, a, a little fold over and as I'm wrapping this I'm laying I'm not just doing it all at one time but I'm easing that hack that 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 flash down 
and that is one thirty second width on that flash. Okay, and you tie that in, bring it, thread back up to the head. A lot of people like a lot of flash hanging. I, I try to go just maybe an eighth of an inch past the tip of the, the, the hackle and it seems to work pretty good for me. Now for your Chanel, on one eighth heads I, I, lay, I usually lay up uh, the Chanel along the hook and just tie it all the way along the hook and that gives you a, a good looking, that gives you a, a little mass on your body. One eighth head You tie that in, good and tight, everything good and tight, okay? Now, we're going to take this Chanel, and you want to wrap this Chanel very, very tight. Make sure it don't pull your tail material around, but very, very tight, slightly overlapping, slightly overlapping and very tight. See how that hook is bending? That's what you want. You want to wrap this very tight. That way nothing comes apart. And you, you'll, you'll lose this jig before anything comes apart on it. Now I'm wrapping this on the hook point side of the thread. My thread is my bobbins all the way up to the head and I've been wrapping on that side of the thread. Now I'm, I've made it up to that head but I'm going to put one more wrap to just fill that in and then I'm going to bring that Chanel on the opposite side of the thread. Okay and I'm going to turn two turns good and tight and I'm going to take my Chanel pull it forward and you want to be doing all of this you want all this to meet up down here by your your uh, hook eye. Okay, so I pull that back, the, the Chanel up towards the front, and I'm gonna wrap two more very tight wraps of thread. Okay, that's gonna be an excellent looking jig. Now I'm gonna take my uh, cuticle cutters, get up very tight to the jig, and clip that off. Now, time to whip finish. This is a whip finisher. Uh, and I'm going to go kind of slow and try to talk through this. That point that's at the very end, you want to hook that thread with that first. And the way I do it is this little groove that's back here on the back end, I'll lay that thread over and pull it towards the point of the hook. And then just wrap over the jig. That makes a V. That makes a triangle. Okay? and just continue going around pulling it very tight look at that that hook bending one two three four five pop it, the string off of the back end of your of your whip finisher pull it down and release the whip finisher from the thread and then you just cinch that down cinch your thread down you'll feel it you'll feel it when it gets to where it needs to be you know, take my little scissors and bam cut that off flip her around take my uh, cement and right on that knot I'm gonna put a few drops of of cement to lock everything in place nothing's gonna come apart and like I said you will lose this jig before anything comes apart and there you have it that is a absolutely gorgeous very good working jig very good working jig okay there you go guys